Welcome back, cozy friends. My name is Elle, and today we will be decorating the Desert Palace in Disney Dreamlight Valley. We are in the plains today by the beautiful staircase, and the palace is a premium shop house skin, and it fits the aesthetic of the desert on Eternity Isle. I'm going to start today with adding some vine walls and a waterfall near the back of the building, to the right of the building. I envision this area as a small sitting area, and I will make sure to leave space so that I can still mine that node so our build stays practical. Next, we will lay down our Tom Tool rug. I really am not a fan of the Tom Tool, but I was happy with this rug creation. I would have preferred a pixel art type of system similar to what we have in Animal Crossing. The Tom Tool needs a rework as it is very limiting with only 50 layers, but if you have any tips or tricks about the Tom Tool, let me know in the comments. The look that I'm going for, for the Tom design um, or the rug design is a desert like tile, kind of like a boho style. If you are a member of the channel, I have uploaded the full tutorial and process of creating this rug to my members only videos. Now I am creating a U shaped path and I want everything to be symmetrical. So we will work on that. I'm adding the green leafy trellis, which is a craftable item that is unlocked via Eternity Isle Progress. One thing I noticed about the update and the Tom rugs is that they are a bit touchy in furniture mode. Bear with me through the struggle, but I am overall happy that we are not having to ultimately scroll all the way back to like an item if we're placing down multiple items. So I am really happy about that fix. Since this is a palace, I wanted to add in some pillars and elegant items such as the monumental marble vase and the marble pillars. Okay, our main layout is done. Um, so now I wanted to work on the sitting area towards the back. I made a quick brown rug for our sitting area and I will be adding in the golden serpent as well as some cute lounge chairs. 
Our color palette has gold in it, so I also thought it would be cute to add in the golden coffee tables. Next, I will be creating a small path to our fountain and the sitting area using the rock clusters. Now it's time to add in some trees. I will mostly be using the palm trees and Eternity Isle trees. Consider becoming a member of the channel. Not only does this help support my channel, but depending on the level you choose, you will get access to emotes for my live streams, members only videos, decoration advice, and even visits to my valley if you are in the coziest member level.
and I'm just extending our rock cluster path to the mining node. Then we can add in some tropical looking foliage. I will also add in some ferns to our pathing. If you made it this far and you're interested in making some cozy friends or just getting inspo from others in the cozy community, consider checking out my official Discord and Facebook group. Both are in the description down below. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, again in the description down below. I really love the look of the new foliage item from Eternity Isle. It's called the fan leaf plant, so we will place that around our build sporadically.
The sunlit plateau rock fits well here and it matches the vibe of the desert. I added in the Sultan's Palace model. This is a piece of furniture that you can craft at your time bending table, but you will have to gather 10 pieces via time bending to craft it. I'm adding in some of the new floral rectangle arrangement items and I'm going to adjust my fencing here as you cannot place these items on top of the rugs. I'm obsessed with the look of the oil lamps in the desert, so that will be our primary light source and decor. It's time to add in some more golden decor as well as some clay pots.
I'm just going to add in more ferns, but this time I'm going to use the green one so we have more of a variety. Okay, it's time to drop our flowers and our food decor. I envisioned using a bunch of the fruit in the sitting area, and I will also finish flower placement. I am using the new floral elements from Eternity Isle here. A lot of the glass, uh, the glass type flowers look really pretty in the desert, and that's also where they grow. Okay, our build is done. I will show you some views from furniture mode and then we will tour during the day, at sunset, and at nighttime. Thank you so much for cozying up with me today. If you enjoyed your time, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And you can also turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on my next build. Let me know in the comments what you think of my desert palace build. Where did you place yours? Thanks again, and I hope you all have a cozy day.